So I think if it all depends if uh, what your objective of testing is. If you're testing to achieve a lift, increased revenue, then I, I would always recommend testing in a series because you need to learn and compound your learnings about the customer to achieve your ultimate maximum potential lift. Because you can you know, test one time and get a win, but you may be leaving a lot out on the table if you just have that one single customer learning. However, if your objective of a test is to get a learning, for example, um, if you're about to send a direct mail piece out or update your uh, you know, call center script or uh, do something with uh, your, your mass media, maybe you need to get a, a, a learning from one a one-off test on the website to inform those other areas. So uh, I would say if you're trying to get a lift, um, get, give yourself that ability to test in a series and have different opportunities to learn about the customer to really understand um, what they're trying to do so that you can match their motivation and, and achieve that ultimate um, revenue increase. And ultimately, you know, to Adam's point, there are, most of the time you're going to want a series. Think in series of four, but there may be a special instance. You may have an email and all you can do is one test, but you still like to get the best performance out of the email. In that case, it may make sense. You may have problems with your sample sizes. You may not have enough sample sizes to run the number of tests that you like. Derek, can you speak to that for just a moment, Derek? Yeah, I mean, that's a, a question that we get a lot. What, what do we do whenever we have a, a, a low sample size? Um, there's several things that we can do. You can try testing in larger um, sample areas, for example, email. Sometimes yeah. you can have a large email you can test on, uh, PPC. Um, if those aren't options, um, we can do uh, implementation and monitor. Yes. So, so you get 100% of the traffic going to the treatment and compare that over a previous time period. Um, that introduces some extra things you're going to you need to check for. Yes. Um, but testing in a low um, sample uh, population is, is difficult, but there are some ways around it. I, I watched uh, Derek and Adam and some of the team members put together an experiment where we took 46 pages and combined them. It was for one of the now students, is it Bryce Miller? He may be on here. Uh, Bryce is, uh, did a brilliant job on his side of putting this together, but they had low traffic and by combining 46 pages, we were able to work together to achieve a pretty dramatic uh, impact, both in learnings uh, and in lifts. And, uh, and I'm sure that somebody associated with this course can, can connect you with that story. So, because I, I think uh, Bryce has written about it. It might, it might help you if you're thinking that, if you face the same thing.